Hello there, it's Diorama Don here again, and the subject this time is uh, a building with a balcony. Uh, you very often see balconies of uh, all sizes and descriptions on buildings, uh, especially in Northern Europe. Uh, I've gone for a rather large balcony, but they're, they're normally only uh, small affairs. Uh, but this is um, a building with a, a large balcony above. So um, we'll get into uh, uh, yeah, is <laughs> we'll get into how I went about making it. I'll just take that out so you can see a bit better in there. Oh yes, lovely. Um, um, before we get into that, please subscribe to the channel. Um, please subscribe and, and click that like button, and you'll be informed when new videos come along. So, without further ado, let's get into how I went about making a building with a balcony. So, to start with, a piece of card, 2mm. If you can find 2mm, all well and good. If not, stick your cornflake packets together. Three pieces will make up 2mm. Uh, I'll cut this to uh, 10 inches square. So uh, 25 centimetres by 25 and then marked out what will be three doors, uh, quite big doors at the top, uh, stepping out onto like a veranda and then two windows and the, uh, a biggish door at the bottom. So with the pieces of card that I cut out, then I made the mouldings around the, the uh, door frame. So what, what came out there, I made this. So um, yeah, okay, so I've got three of those to do and then uh, the two windows and the door. So uh, the more moulding, the better. Um, so that will stand at the back there like that. And then the veranda will sort of sit to uh, proud of the building like that and it will be supported by these arches that I've cut from half inch polystyrene uh, easy enough to cut so that will stand there and then there'll be an arch on the sides as well like that okay so that's the the premise of the shape of the thing uh, so I'll carry on and put the rest of the molding on three uh, doors There'll be some kind of uh, uh, extra architectural um, <laughs> feature at the top there. Not quite sure what yet. And um, so I'll carry on with that. Put the uh, the gallery, well, the, the balcony really, the balcony together. Uh, and then I'll put the railings around around the uh, the top a bit later. Uh, so we'll get on to that a bit later, but for the time being I'll finish the main building and the um, the gallery area and come back see what it looks like then So I finished the facade of the building Just put uh, as much molding as I could muster It's surprising how just a few little bits of cardboard can transform it into a uh, uh, an impressive looking building, uh, especially with the, the, the top uh, ar architrave type of thing. Just a few, just strips of cardboard, that's all. And uh, around the uh, the doorways there. Okay, so that's the, uh, the main building. And then in the front, I put the um, uh, balcony together. That was easy enough, no problem there. Uh, and I made these pillars that will sit around around the edge like so. Where are we? That way? No, that way. Like that. So all we need now is the railings, which is uh, the whole point of the uh, the balcony, making the balcony in the first place. Uh, so I made these, um, I use uh, toothpicks 
uh, the, the the quality ones, not the ones with the pointy bit both ends, but these uh, quality, uh, well, <laughs> I call them quality toothpicks. They're a bit better than uh, than the cheaper ones. Okay, anyway. So with um, <clears throat> three eighths wide cardboard, it can't be any thinner than that because by the time you've drilled all the holes and then push these things through it, it, it starts to disintegrate a bit. So it has to be fairly substantial, quite wide. So I've made it three eighths wide and then drilled uh, holes all the way along the same diameter as the, uh, the toothpick. So you end up with that. But uh, the, the length of the rail, <coughs> I don't cut off uh, because the sharp point, <laughs> Uh, here we are. The sharp point of the toothpick goes into the hole quite easily. It, as, as long as it's a good push fit, then uh, you, you no need to, to glue the, the toothpicks to the cardboard. So that will stay there like that. And then the other piece is easily to push through because you've still got your point up to there. And then as long as you've marked the toothpick out, then you can cut it off to length there. So that makes it easier to get the toothpick through the two holes. And then all you need to do is adjust them like that. Um, cut the ends of the toothpick off and then that I've done, oh great, then they will sit like that, well I'll that way around, so it'll look like that. So I think that will look quite impressive when they're all done all the way around. Um, yeah, pleased with that. Um, I, I didn't really want to have this part as thick as that, but uh, unless I use a different material, uh, it's the only really way I can do it. OK, so I'll put the rest of my railings on. Uh, I'll give it a coat of watered down wool filler. That will give me then a basis then to put my different coloured grouts on. I shall use a brick coloured grout for the uh, the actual balcony, the bottom of the balcony, if you like. And uh, just a concrete uh, grout, <laughs> a grey grout, concrete coloured grout for the back part so okay I'll go away do all that oh these columns by the way uh, I just cut um, a square of half inch polystyrene and just put pieces of wood all the way around a uh, piece of wood on the bottom for a base and two pieces on the top to make it look a little bit more uh, architecturally interesting and then on the front three I just cut these front pieces out that will make it look uh, look a bit more impressive. So I'll go away and uh, stick everything back together and paint it all. And uh, that should be it. I'll be back in a moment. So I assembled everything, uh, put the rails around the balcony. I think they turned out reasonably well. And then painted, uh, well, no, no paint actually. Well, I, I sprayed the uh, the railings black, uh, but the concrete is uh, grey grout, and the red is uh, a red grout. Make it look like red a red brick render. So all I need to do now is put the doors and windows in. So I've cut those out again, two millimeter card. So these are the three doors, double doors at the top. So they'll sit um, which way? That way. Uh, get in like that somehow there'll be three double doors along there along the, the back and then these windows stuck up there that'll look pretty good I think and then for the door all I did was just put some grooves in a in a piece of card so that when that goes around my arch it'll look like a, a 
big door. <laughs> so there we are. Um, I just need to, well I've painted them white already, I, I'll put this behind as the glass, uh, tinted acetate, put that behind as glass and then I've got an old net curtain so I'll put that behind as well which will look uh, pretty good. So I'll go ahead and finish the whole thing then and put it on some kind of a base and uh, and that will be it. Uh, a very Im an impressive looking um, building uh, for the sake of a square foot of cardboard and a square foot of uh, polystyrene. So we're, we're, we're reaching the dizzy heights of one pound, I think. <laughs> uh, one dollar. So uh, not expensive to make. OK, I'll finish it off and I'll be back. So there we are, all finished. A building with a balcony. Um, I've never made a balcony before and now I have, so I'm satisfied. Uh, nice big one as well. Uh, we could put the uh, half track in there, I suppose, maybe. Um, the more astute viewers among you will maybe recognise the basic design of this building. Um, you can buy resin kits that are similar, similar in design, um, but they will cost you a pretty penny, something like 70 euros, I think. Uh, whereas this, well, with, with the base now, uh, probably two pounds, to a, little, a little over two dollars for me to make. OK, a few hours to, uh, to make it all, oh, and, and a few toothpicks as well. Uh, but uh, with a little bit of time and effort, um, not too bad uh, a project to make, quite easy really. Uh, so anyway, I'll leave it with you if you want to make one. Uh, by all means, have a go yourself. I hope I've given you a, a clue as to uh, how to go about it. I think the idea of the uh, two millimetre card and, and toothpicks are a reasonably good idea for, for railings of any kind, anywhere. So, thank you very much for watching this video. hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, click that like button and subscribe. You will be notified when new videos come along. Uh, so uh, I'll leave it with you. Thank you very much for watching this. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you happy modelling. <laughs>